Is that better? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good to know. Um, thank you all for being here today. I'm very happy to see all of you here. And unfortunately, like most of my assignments, this speech was procrastinated um, as well. So you're just going to have to get what I give you. <laughs> but thank you all for being here. And I'm very proud to say that we are not only accredited high school graduates in California, we are also accredited high school graduates of Virginia State, which is awesome. I don't know when I'm going to need to know what rocks are in Virginia, but I mean, it might be nice to know. I know that you guys are hearing three speeches today, and it might get a little bit repetitive with all the thinking. But in my mind, no amount of spoken thanks can equal the amount of effort that has been put into our lives. We are not only celebrating the achievements of myself and my fellow graduates tonight, we are also celebrating the cumulative efforts of an entire community. An excerpt from Meditation 17 by my favorite poet of all time, John Donne, states that no man is an island entire of itself. All of you have directly or indirectly influenced us on our journeys to become what we are today. Our accomplishments are equally your accomplishments. Without the influence of each and every one of you, I would not be standing before you today as I am. I am extremely grateful to have you all in my life. I would like to extend my formal thanks to those present today, as well as those who could not be with us. Firstly, I want to thank my parents. You both have sacrificed so much for me to receive a wonderful education. You've been my Sunday school teachers, youth group leaders, mentors, principals, and most notably, parents, which is probably the hardest one. Without you, I literally would be nothing. I cannot begin to thank you enough for all the opportunities you both have given me. Thank you to my grandparents, to Grandma Judy, for reminding me to stay on the bright side of life, and to Grandpa Giles, who instilled in me a love of literature and of finding God, to Papa, who showed me that I can do anything I set my mind to with God's help. And to Lola, who tutored me in Florida, <laughs> showed me perseverance and gave me a love of plants. Thank you to Aunt Mary, who has spent countless hours driving me around Sonoma County and mentoring me academically and spiritually. And thank you to the rest of my family for uplifting me and supporting me. Thank you to my pastors and their wives who have been so dedicated to the church. Thank you for all that you guys have done. Thank you to my church family and to my various Sunday school teachers. There are many of you, but you have all invested so much into me and to my fellow graduates. Thank you to all of my friends who have been such a great help and support to me, especially for these last four years. I definitely wouldn't have made it without you guys. And thank you especially to my study buddies, Ali, Joe, and Mia, whether physically or through phone <laughs> calls. Um, you guys have helped me immensely and I would not have graduated without you guys. Um, thank you to Daphne, of course. She has given me so many snuggles and helped me to get through the last four years. Same. <laughs> and she's the bestest girl. And a special thank you to Starbucks on Flower Lane, Retrograde Roasters, Aroma Roasters, and Taylor Lane, who have sustained us through this endeavor. <laughs> and lastly, all thanks to God, our Heavenly Father, who has provided me with all of these opportunities and brought you all into my life. I could not be more grateful.